Coming up on 5-Minute News. Europe battles extreme heat and wildfires as climate warms. Texas report cites poor leadership in Uvalde school massacre. And three people dead in Indiana shopping mall shooting. It's Monday, July 18. I'm Anthony Davis. Authorities across southern Europe battled on Sunday to control huge wildfires in countries including Spain, Greece and France, with hundreds of deaths blamed on soaring temperatures that scientists say are consistent with climate change. In Spain, helicopters dropped water on the flames as temperatures rose above 104 Fahrenheit as the mountainous terrain made the job harder for firefighters. Shocked residents watching thick plumes of smoke rising above the central western Jert Valley said the heat was making their previously green and cool home more like Spain's semi-arid south. A study published in June in the journal Environmental Research, Climate, concluded it was highly probable that climate change was making heat waves worse. More than a thousand deaths have been attributed to the nearly weeks-long heat wave in Portugal and Spain so far. Temperatures in Spain have reached as high as 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Spain's weather agency issued temperature warnings for all of Sunday, with highs of 108 Fahrenheit forecast in the north. It said the heat wave would end today, but warned temperatures would remain abnormally high. France issued red alerts, the highest possible for several regions, with residents urged to be extremely vigilant. In Italy, where smaller fires have blazed in recent days, forecasters expect record temperatures in several regions. Similar temperatures were recorded in Portugal on Sunday and are forecast in Britain today and tomorrow in temperatures that would top the UK's previous official record of 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, in the US, President Joe Biden said he would act on his own to cut climate emissions and urged his fellow Democrats to pass the few elements of their sweeping domestic policy package that they can agree on after talks in the Senate collapsed once again. Almost 400 law enforcement officials rushed to a mass shooting at Uvalde Elementary School, but egregiously poor decision-making resulted in more than an hour of chaos before the gunman, who took 21 lives, was finally confronted and killed, according to a damning investigative report released yesterday. The nearly 80-page report was the first to criticise both state and federal law enforcement, and not just local authorities in the South Texas town, for the bewildering inaction by heavily armed officers as a gunman fired inside a fourth-grade classroom at Robb Elementary School. The report said at Robb Elementary, law enforcement responders failed to adhere to their active shooter training. They failed to prioritise saving innocent lives over their own safety. The gunman had fired approximately 142 rounds inside the building, and it is almost certain that at least 100 shots came before any officer entered, according to the report, which laid out in damning detail numerous failures, including the commander of a Border Patrol tactical team waiting for a bulletproof shield and working master key for the classroom, which may not have even been locked. The report, the most complete account yet of the hesitant and haphazard response to the May 24th massacre, was written by an investigative committee from the Texas House of Representatives. The city's acting police chief during the massacre was placed on administrative leave. Family members of the victims in Uvalde received copies of the report on Sunday before it was released to the public. Three people were fatally shot and two were injured Sunday evening at an Indiana mall after a man with a rifle opened fire in a food court and an armed civilian shot and killed him, police said. The man entered the Greenwood Park Mall with a rifle and several magazines of ammunition and began firing in the food court, Greenwood Police Department Chief Jim Ison said. A 22-year-old from nearby Bartholomew County, who was legally carrying a firearm at the mall, shot and killed the gunman, Ison said at a news conference. 
Four of those hit by gunfire were females and one was a male. The specific genders of those who were killed were not immediately known. Police also confiscated a suspicious backpack that was in a bathroom near the food court. Officers went to the mall at about 6pm to reports of the shooting. The mass shooting was just the latest to unnerve Americans in 2022. Schools, churches, grocery stores and a July 4th parade in Highland Park, Illinois have all become killing grounds in recent months. Still, the reality of America's staggering murder rate can often be seen more clearly in individual deaths that rarely make the news. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app, ask your smart speaker, or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate, and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health, and climate, delivering independent, unbiased, and essential world news daily.